Good morning, guys. We've been hit. We have totally been hit. It is 1.30. We are supposed to be at the barn right now, and I have the worst belly ache I've ever had in a long time. I think I have the flu. Tell me when I get sick, I don't get sick a lot. Yeah. My throat feels a lot better after eating, <laughs> after eating seven Lozenges. Lozenges. So Gabby's recovering from her cold. It's Sam, what's wrong with you? Still Sam has, has a, a cold. cold. A mild cold. And I was good until I got up this morning and was moving around and getting the house cleaned up. And all of a sudden I started to get really bad belly pains. It's almost like, you know, when you put your pants too tight and it pushes on your internal organs and then you get those stabbing pains. Um, it's like that and it's just spreading all around inside my stomach and every time I move around I feel like I'm gonna throw up and I'm I'm thinking somebody gave me the flu. Do you think somebody gave me the flu? Probably. Yeah. yeah That's what I get for bragging about never being sick. Ow, you're killing me. You jinxed yourself. Yeah, I jinxed myself. This is the worst time to get sick because our house is still a huge mess from having us all sleep downstairs. Uh, we need to go to the grocery store, which is what we do every single Sunday. The only one feeling good is Sophie. Sophie, you're gonna have to take care of us. Stop. Busy. Yeah, we're doomed. <laughs> okay, so I'm the only less sick person here, so I have to go out and get groceries and stuff. It's terrible. We've been sick all day. We've all been sick. And now I'm forced to go out. my grocery shop and it's funny that this cold is affecting everybody differently like for Laura her stomach's sick and for me I get really tired really easily if I like walk upstairs I'm done tired I feel like I can't do anything anymore so going to the grocery store was a, a big chore today the only person who's not sick is you, you're not sick. Yeah, I know. Are you gonna go get bugs? No way. Mm -hmm. Soup, that's what we're eating. Hi guys, since we've been all been sick and unable to do anything today, um, I'm gonna include in today's video, um, Gabby and Sophia's competition, and it was three years ago. And it was at the old barn, and that was Gabby's second competition and Sophia's first competition. So here it is. Cool, huh? Yeah. Can you wait till you can do that? What? Ride like, like that? that? Ice cream coupon. Did you? Hey, cool. Gabby. 32. Hey, don't die. Exciting. So there's chairs in the indoor on this side, horses are on that side. So if you're going in to watch, be on this side. Or if you're cold, about here, here. Oh, yeah, go for pictures. She's still eating. Oh, all right, let's go sit down. Let's go sit down. So this is uh, where we are. We're in the warm room. And Laura's sitting out there in the coal. <laughs> Freezing coal. I learned it on my hand, then I washed it off. Need help memorizing your course? Yeah, because I don't know what the fourth jump is. Oh, all right. Well, we'll uh, talk to somebody about it. You guys figured it out? I think one. It's too difficult for two, me. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we go like. 
Okay, so I think we have to get our trot first. Go around here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, hopefully. Hopefully you get it. In the bathroom, it's freezing here. This is the only room in the whole barn that's heated. Ooh, so the pipes don't freeze, but yeah, it's cold. Anyway, the girls are off playing with their friends. See, they still have friends, even though they're homeschooled, they still have friends. Anyway, they're off playing with their friends because it's not their turn yet. Sam and I are just hanging out, watching all the other people compete. I'm getting nervous now. You're getting nervous? I'm getting nervous. Gabby is getting ready to compete, right? She's got all of her little girls out there. They're walking the course. Oh, the big girls, yeah, she's probably the youngest, right? She comes, they're walking the course with their teacher. Okay, it's Gabby's turn. Here it goes. Here it goes. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Good job, Gabby. Thank you very much, Gabby and Tess. And right now we see who wins. The winner today, receiving the red ribbon and a very special draw, is number 30. That is Grace Wick on Tessa's dad. In second place today, we have number 38, and Shark Ranch. Look at that. Awesome, eh? What'd you get? Candy. I was going to go through all these bags and put a hole in them and take out all the chocolate bars. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Gabby's second competition. She's on Mare, the white horse. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Good job. Good job. All right, this is Sophia's first competition, and I predict she's going to come in first place. What do you, what do you think? I think first. I think first because Mayor. Yeah, Mayor's the winner, right? There she goes. Look at her. She's getting up there. Getting up on Mayor. For the first time. Oh yeah, that's right, eh?
Are you going to share those treats with Mare? She's like, oh, I smell them. Just work. Just hold your hand straight. Better you than me. Oh, did you take it out? End of flashback. So today has been the craziest day. I told you guys a little bit earlier about how I was feeling and now I know I did not have the flu. I definitely did not have the flu, but I had this really crazy pain. I feel like it's possible that maybe I was having an appendicitis attack. Maybe a mild one. Um, it's something I've never felt before. It was on my right side from like I can't even describe but it, it was like stabbing pains in my stomach it was a terrible feeling lasted about four four and a half hours and just kind of slowly went away and thank god because I am not good at being in pain anyway I got our kitty here with us dustpan oops ow 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 she's digging her claws into me okay ow ow okay Anyway, Gabby and I are here trying to find comment of the day. I'm sorry we did not vlog today, you guys. This is the first time we almost did not have a vlog. And then at the end of the day, Sam was like, we'll just do a retro video and we'll put in some footage of the girls riding when they were I'm sorry we had to do that and I don't imagine this will ever happen again. But it was just crazy that we were all sick. I think the sickest one, of, we were all sick except for Sophie. The sickest one of all though, I think has been Gabby. She's been feeling terrible today, huh? All Life weekend. Life brought us a lot better. Yeah, anyway, I wanna thank you guys all, all for sending us video and um, links for horses. I've been trying to look at them, but there's so many. Anyway, so <coughs> many of you guys have been sending us links and people ask us, okay, what's your criteria? What do you really want? And then I describe our perfect horse and I realize it's Sabrina. So we, I love warm bloods. Warm bloods are my new favorite kind of horse. And I, Gabby's favorite color is bay. This unicorn said, if I were you, totally move to Scotland. I wanna go to Scotland. I wanna go there so bad that when we're ready to take a vacation, I think that's gonna be our first vacation because that is where I wanna go so badly. Anyway, Amy Rand has Gabby intrigued because she says there, there are two horses you might like. And Gabby checked out. I've only seen one so Gabby far. checked out the very first link and we're gonna show you the horse because she is in love. Are you in love? Did you check the price? She's like, price? Who like cares? 25, I'm in, I think. 25,000? So. I think so. Okay, well this is a beautiful horse and that's why. Let's okay. see him. He's a stunning and athletic 16.3 hand high Canadian warm blood gelding and he is gorgeous. This my friends is Gabby's dream horse. Yeah. She is in love with this guy. He is gorgeous. Let's read what else about him. Yes, he is $25,000 Gabby. We are not getting that horse. So, and he's in Alberta. So oh, you crap. guys. <laughs> Don't send us links to $25,000 horses that are amazing because now we want him. Is your heart broken? Yeah, our heart is broken yeah. now. She also sent us a video of another um, bay gelding and he is gorgeous too. We love them both. You totally, Amy, you totally have the right is idea. He a no, I don't know. You totally have the right idea of what kind of horse we like, it's just not the right price range because this guy was really 15,000, I think this guy is. So this is the other one. Look at the muscle on that horse. That horse would be wasted on us for sure because we don't, we would not even know what to do with it. I think what I want to do is I want to share um, one or two horses every day that people have sent to us so that we can look at them together and we can kind of like uh, looking at you them. You lost your comment. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, I think that, yeah, we will show one or two horses every single day that people have sent to us and then we will 
um, show you, tell you what we think about them and if we think they're a good fit for us and if we're going to go and look at them and then you guys can tell us what you think too. Um, Esther M wants to know, do Gabby and Sophia have channels? I would really like to subscribe to them. They do have channels. So Sophie has a brand new video up on her channel right now. She's in the tub, but it's all about how she sets the bunny pen up. So um, check that out if you want to. Her channel is called Sophie's Life, and Gabby's channel is? Always Gabby. I'm trying to find this comment. Uh, somebody said that she, if she could be a fairy tale, fairy tale character, she would be Maleficent, and it was so funny. Um, Tegan Lovett says, I'd be Rumpelstiltskin or Hook. I love that. Elsa. Oh, who said that? Oh, B Gundel 49 said she'd be Elsa. Uh, Haley Equestrian 21 says, hey, when is Gabby going to jump again? Gabby, do you know when you're going to jump again? I'm going to jump on Sabrina soon. She's going to be jumping Sabrina soon. She's going to be learning to jump Sabrina. And uh, because they had, the horses had a two-week break over Christmas, we're getting them back into working again. So I think this week she will not be jumping. Yeah. But then she's going to start jumping, and she's going to start jumping our horse. She's going to start getting comfortable jumping our horse. What do you think of that? I'm believe in Jasmine. What do you think about jumping Sabrina? I'm not nervous. I just don't want her to refuse. Yeah, well, Fiona will teach you how to teach her not to refuse. Anyway, that is it for today, and thanks for bearing with us while we had um, sick issues. And we'll see you guys with a full vlog tomorrow when we go back to the barn to see our girl because we were supposed to go in, go there today. We were supposed to put all the horses in, and then we didn't go. And it was terrible, and I feel terrible, and I miss her when we're not there. I feel like she's wondering where we are, but I know she's not wondering where we are, but I feel like I don't want her to ever forget us. And I want us, I want her always to remember us. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.